that night, Thomas was the smallest engine at Tidmouth Shed. But at least his new friend Edward was there too. I like being on Sodor, Edward. I just can't wait until I get to pull trains. Hmm. You'd better learn how to shunt cars and coaches first, Thomas. Oh, I'll soon get the hang of shunting, Edward. But I want to see the world. <laughs> faster! 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 Oh, turn! 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 Who's that? That's Henry. He's a very kind engine, but he's a bit of a worrier. <laughs> and he doesn't like rain. <laughs> Once an engine attached to a train was afraid of a few drops of rain. He rushed into a tunnel and squeaked through his funnel and never came out again. <laughs> his driver and fireman argued with him, but he wouldn't budge. The rain will spoil my lovely green paint and red stripes, he said. The passengers got off and argued with him, too. But he wouldn't move, even after the rain had stopped. So, Sir Topham Hatt told the guard to get a rope and... One, two, three, pull! Everyone pulled. Come on! Pull harder! Come on, everyone! It's not moving! Except Sir Topham Hatt. Uh, uh, my, uh, my doctor has forbidden me to pull. When that didn't work, they tried pushing from the other end. One, two, three, push! Everybody push! Harder! Come on! Put your backs into it! Uh, <coughs> my doctor has also forbidden me to push. They tried pushing with an engine, too. But nothing worked. In the end, they took up the old rails, built a wall in front of him, and left him there. <gasps> <laughs> oh, Sir Topham Hatt let him out eventually, after Gordon burst his safety valve and couldn't pull out. All right, uh, story time is over. Some of us have to get some sleep. Oh. <laughs>